Hey everybody, Drew McClellan here from Agency Management Institute, this week coming to you from New York City. You know, one of the areas where I think most agency leaders and owners can improve is the clarity of communication that we have with our team members. I'll give you three great examples. I had an agency owner call me the other day and she had a very clear vision of the future for one of her key employees. It was one of her leadership level people that in her mind in the next year was gonna move into a president or an EVP role and was really being groomed to run the agency day in and day out. But that owner didn't communicate that as clearly as she thought she did to the employee. The employee came in and gave notice. And she gave notice because she was going, she was, had been offered a job that was pretty much exactly the job this agency owner was grooming her for and had earmarked her for. But because they hadn't had a really candid conversation about that employee's future and what the agency owner was waiting for, what skill sets, what deliverables, demonstrating certain skills and, and knowledge that was gonna move that person into that role, because she wasn't really clear with her about, hey, look, this is my vision for you, and here's what I need you to do, and I wanna work with you together to get you there. Let's move you into that position. Because she didn't do that, she not only lost that great employee who was pivotal to the business today, but was absolutely critical to her vision of the agency in the future. Example number one. Example number two, two employees not getting along agency owner wasn't clear about how they wanted those two employees to resolve their conflict, didn't step in, coach, and teach how to, dissolve, how to resolve that conflict, and at the end of the day, just said to them, look, you two work it out, you're grown-ups, figure it out. And what ended up happening was both employees turned in their notice within three days of each other because they couldn't figure out themselves how to, how to resolve the conflict, and they didn't want to be in conflict with each other. And so both of them, independent of the other, went and found other jobs. So now that agency is down two key employees, and by the way, set a terrible example for how we resolve conflict inside an agency. Example number three. Agency owner had a problem with an agency employee, and a vendor. They're, they had a relationships outside of the business. And while that's not in the employee handbook, it's not in the manual, it doesn't say you can't do it, made the agency owner super uncomfortable. But they didn't know how to deal with it. And so that what happened was the vendor, realizing that there was discomfort on the agency owner's part, decided to resign the business that they were getting from the agency so he could pursue a relationship with one of the employees. It was a key vendor and more importantly, a key referral source for the agency. Now, if the agency owner had sat them down and just said, hey, you guys, look, let's talk about the fact that you have a relationship and how are we going to protect and maintain the integrity of our work relationship so that the, no one questions whether or not something is being, that something's inappropriate or there's weird pricing or any of the other things. Let's talk about how to handle that, but they didn't. So three examples of agency owners who were uncomfortable with a situation, didn't know how to handle it, didn't communicate clearly, and it cost their agency dearly. We, as leaders of an agency, have got to learn how to communicate clearly. We have to be, we have to slow down, we have to sit down and have difficult conversations. We need to learn how to have them with candor, with respect, with grace, but we have to have them. And all too often I see agency owners sort of passively aggressively dealing with situations inside their shop. And I'm telling you, it very rarely plays out as well as it could if you were just honest and clear. So if that's a challenge for you, I, I'm challenging you to work on that, to focus on it. Start having smaller conversations with team members, less intense conversations, things that aren't of critical importance. Practice having candor and clear communications so that on the day when you have to have the big conversation about something that really matters, you're ready to do it and you're ready to do it well, all right? See you next week.
week. <laughs>